Hello guys, I'm Ahulia back again with another new video. And if you are creating a SaaS or you have some website where you are implementing authentication, how many times as a UX designer or maybe a, a developer as well? Uh, specifically, this this is a certain concept regarding UX. That is, how many times we have thought of like... Uh, make the authentication process more frictionless more and more frictionless like how can it be possible how to do it within fewer clicks with fewer information like get the authentication portion done and uh, like register the user and rest will be collected later how many times we have tried to do that in tons of platform okay for specifically mobile apps it's really easy to authenticate uh, when it comes to like authenticate again and again because we have the sensors okay so you can use face id or you can use fingerprint sensor form from your phone and all okay but this is only accessible for native apps specifically like this is really you like easy to use in native apps but for uh, uh, normal web apps, uh, you may say for desktop apps, it's not easier to uh, in, like embed something like that or include something like that into the authentication feature. So what we can do, right? Today, I have a particular authentication system that is doing it, okay? So it's enabling either your uh, uh, laptops touch id windows hello or maybe even your phones uh fingerprint scanner or iris scanner or whatever you what in the biometric authentication process you have as the replacement of passwords in your authentication system so let us go through today's platform and from then on i will uh, share more details about it so let's just get started so today we have passage now it's currently in beta mode and it's not totally free but it has generous amount of uh tire free tire i would say okay so first see what it actually does okay so in this uh authentication process you just have to give your email id now i will not give it right now because i am not in a device which have windows hello or neither do i have the access to my phone right now because it's re re uh, recording right now but yes yeah if you have a touch id in laptop you can use it flawlessly or if you have the mobile with you the phone with you you will get the email there but what the uh, thing is like you, know, you can jot down your email or phone over here okay then click on continue if it can detect any of the touch sensors in your device it will let you know and let you log in through that otherwise it will send you the email and let you uh, log in through that one time link okay that it will generate and there you have just have to like activate your touch id and that's basically it that's basically how it works okay now this is specifically made for developers because yeah this is a authentication system that we are supposed to use uh, while developing our app so when you when you go to documentation uh, there will be like a clear documentation that they have created over here okay and it supports node.js it supports go and python as well okay so i think most of the works will be uh, done with node.js as of now like uh, works can be done because the most of the frameworks that we are using right now is built with node.js 
most of the run times actually yeah and we have the option for python and go that is also great but it's really easy to implement if you like you go on uh, the sky it will like totally guide you through every process that you have to in order to implement it in your app okay and they have given you detail this uh this detail instruction detail instruction to do so like in go in python and in node.js okay so implementations and documentation portions are great now you may ask mehul what is the pricing section okay like what is the pricing scenario we did and i have gone through the pricing scenario i really really liked it so you can start for free up to 500 5000 monthly active user and after that an 5000 monthly user will be free forever that's also a great thing that i can get over here we can not i just we can get over here okay and after that 0.10 per mau okay monthly active user 0.01 okay dollar obviously in dollars so uh, basically 10 users 1 dollar for 10 users okay now it may sound a little too much for someone or maybe it's okay for some of them but obviously if you are having like huge volume of sign up sign ins and signings uh, uh, for sign ins unlimited logins are totally for free okay so you don't have to pay for logins you just have to pay for sign ups okay so that's the thing and create unlimited apps add all of your team members like collaboration system and all all of those things are there okay and if you are having really, really huge volume of customers who want to get into the platform you should really check out this uh, enterprise section ask a uh, like more reasonable more budget friendly actually wholesale pricing i would say uh, and discuss it with them they will be able to provide you great rates in that as well so i really like how they are approaching the authentication of modern days because to be honest okay right now we all have a smartphone that has a fingerprint scanner into it okay or we are using some sort of biometric authentication to get into oh, our phones get into our apps all sort of things and maybe you may say like uh, it can't be implemented on all of the web apps like uh, the, the web apps that are specifically made for desktops but still you are getting that link in your email right now it may sound uh, you are like uh, creating another step in there okay uh, in order to provide uh, this biometric authentication but something you have to compromise uh, while thinking that because one thing you can we can always do is we can keep both of the formats of logging into the platform so there will be password or passwordless and when you are doing passwordless option go through this one because this make much more sense right and a uh, uh, combination of both will work great in every possible scenario because when you are not having phone with you right now i am not having my phone with me it's recording and uh, my pc like this pc of mine i am using using legion right now so this pc of mine doesn't have fingerprint scanner so simply i can add a password uh, password field to my uh, login form and let my usual login through password but in most of the cases this uh, anomalies will not happen you have to think uh, for the general purpose post and in that sense it is a much more 
preferable way of logging into the platform i would say okay so that's really it about this video that's really it about this platform and how i am willing to use it okay and that's actually it if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to this channel if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share with your friends let every developer know that this kind of a solution exists right now okay rather than magic links or passwordless logins this is also a kind of passwordless logins that we can imagine in future uh, maybe someone will like develop an open source version of it but what it is still it is right now is great okay and rather than that if you know about some of the great platforms or uh, services like this please let me know about all of them in the comment section below so i can feature them in my future videos as well so bye for now